Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create chart report by using a chart wizard in a report builder. So let's go ahead and open report manager first. Once the report manager is open, we can go ahead and open a report builder from there. If you do not know how to open a report manager, you can watch my previous videos where we have explained that how to find a report manager URL and a report server URL from a reporting services configuration manager. So you can watch those videos and uh, it will take a couple of seconds to open SQL Server 2016 CTP Report Builder. If you are working with the old version such as 2014 or SQL Server 2012, this will be pretty much same. There are not a whole lot of different options. So we have the same screen and everything. In the new screen, new report, we see that chart wizard right here. So let, this is called the getting start dialog box. So if we close that one, let's say I cancel this out or close it somehow, then how to get to the chart wizard again? So that's another question. So I'm going to close this one and say, okay, don't show me this on the next startup. So next time when I'm going to start the report builder, it will not show me getting start window. So let's close it. Now, if I'm here and I did not see the getting start window, how I will start the report wizard or a chart wizard. So I have to go to the file, click new, and that's where I will see the same tabs pretty much and open and recent tabs are missing here, but rest of that, everything is the same. Now I can select a chart wizard. Once I select chart wizard, it gave me option to select the data set. I can choose the data set if I have deployed to the reporting server. So I can choose from there and then browse it and it will ask me, okay, in which folder you have deployed your data set. So I can select the data set from there if I have deployed it. So in my case, I haven't deployed any shared data set. So I'm going to cancel this out. I have to create a new data set. So I'm going to create a new one. Hit next. And uh, here it will ask us to choose uh, a connection to the data source. So you can select uh, the data source uh, from your report server. So browse and then uh, navigate to the folder where you have deployed your data sources. So my data sources are in a data sources folder and uh, this is the only data source I have. This is called sales. So I'm going to open that one. And uh, one option you have here is a new. You can go ahead and create a new data source and this will be embedded in your report. You can provide the name and then you select the connection type. In my case, let's say if I have SQL Server, so I select SQL Server, then I will click a build button and that will help to choose the server name and database name and build the connection string. So that's the one way to do it but i don't need that as i already have the data source deployed to the reporting server and i can choose that one so hit next here we see the database of view we can write our own query and go to edit as text and paste the query right here if we don't have the query then we can go back to the edit as text and this window will help us to create that uh, query. So let's go to tables uh, and uh, I have only one table. In this case, uh, I would like to select only three fields, uh, region, country and uh, item sold. That's all I need uh, uh, for this uh, demo. What I will be doing, uh, I will be taking some of the items sold. I, I would like to show the country on the categories uh, and I would like to have region in my series uh, on the chart. So I would like to create column chart by using this uh, wizard. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit next. And now I have uh, option to choose a chart type. I have column type, I have line, pie, bar and area. So here when you select the column type, you can uh, have stack chart or you can have a 100% stacked. So once I click here, this option will be available. And we have done videos on how to create a stack chart from basics and how to create 100% stack chart as well. So you can watch those videos, understand I have created pretty much videos on all of these different types by using SSDT SQL Server data tools. So this is no different from there, only the difference is this is by the wizard and we do not have a wizard. The chart wizard is not available in SSDT SQL Server data tools. The wizard is there 
there you can create tabular report you can create matrix report but there is no wizard where you can you create the chart type report so it is only available in the report builder i'm going to click on the column and hit next now i have to arrange the chart fields as i told you guys i will be using item sold for my values I will be using country as categories so this these are the values so they will be on the x-axis and then I have region on the series so if you would like to see the description here you can read that what are the values what are the categories and what are the series so you can take a look on that one just a definition and we are all good here so hit next and now it is asking us what type of chart you would like to uh, select so we have to have style so here we have different styles available and we can go to anyone maybe we can go to generic here and then we can change if we like so hit next or finish and now the chart is created I would like to make it a little bigger and uh, I would like to add the title as well I'm going to call sale chart report and now we can go ahead and run the report and as you can see that we have values that's like on y axis from 0 to 20 we see that these numbers and then we this interval can be changed you can change to 0 to 10 and with the interval can be 10 or 50 or 100 whatever you like depending on the values you want to show but automatically it is selected with the interval of 5 so that's fine in our case we don't have whole lot of values and if you will hover your mouse here it automatically took the tool taper that did not um, this feature was not in the SSDT SQL Server data tools in that we have to auto we have to manually add that tool taper but here it is already added uh, so if we hover our mouse on any of the bar it will show us the value that's pretty neat and countries you can see on the x-axis and then uh, these are series so you can see Asia is a blue color and we can tell from here okay these two countries Pakistan and India belong to Asia and Europe is uh, orange and we can tell okay France and Germany they belong to Europe and uh, USA is the only country in the North America as per our data now if I would go back to design our report is pretty much done we can play with this one and I would like to tell you a few more things uh, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create another video how to create the chart report from basics in report builder as well so but here once you are here you can right click uh, and uh, change the things what you like uh, let's say if we would like to change the chart type uh, right click and say change chart type and uh, now we have option uh, to change uh, the chart type to anything uh, these are all different types of uh, charts uh, available in SSDT SQL Server data tools and they are also available right uh, here so we can change to the um, column and in the column we have different types of uh, charts so uh, we have line and shapes and everything so once you are done with the uh, wizard then you have more option to change your chart or modify according to your requirement so if I right click here and say uh, show data labels I can show the data and uh, also I can do a lot more things whatever I like the same thing what we have done in SSDT SQL Server data tools so if you would like to play with this one double click and then you can have chart data window here you can change the fields uh, you can change the category change the series uh, so all options are available to you is the same thing what we have done in uh, SSR DT SQL Server data tools uh. so let me go back run the report again and now you see the values are there now from here we can exit we can close it without saving it or we can publish the report to the report server so if I hit a save button or I just uh, and close the window from here it's going to ask me do you want to save your changes yes I would like to and then uh, it is asking me I'm gonna select the recent sites and servers so I can see the reporting server once I see the reporting server I can navigate to the folder here I'm going to go to the reports folder and I'm going to provide the name chart by wizard and save once I hit save you see that the wizard 
sorry the report builder exits uh, exits or closes uh, and then uh, we have a report manager and we are connected to the report server and i'm going to go to the reports uh, folder and we have a chart by wizard so if i click this one then i'm going to see my report uh, in the uh, report manager so that's how your users uh, will see the reports uh, so you can uh, create you can modify anything uh, in the a report builder if I would like to modify I can go back to the report and modify this report so if I go back I can click here and let's say we we have added in a report builder we can directly start from here if I will go ahead and do it it's gonna open a report builder open a report and then we can make changes and once we make changes we can simply save those changes and it will save save to the report server so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video